Hey there, my name is Fiamma, aka Cookie Girl, and welcome back to Life is Strange. In the last episode, we actually had to run away from Blackwall because uh, they found out that we broke in. And now we're at Chloe's house, we just found some clues about uh, Rachel and Kate on David's computer and we receive a text from Kate thank you for my heart for reaching me out on the roof Oh, can we go like visitor or something Taylor hey Max you want to thank you for actually giving a shout about me and my mom we all know I care about Kate and nobody else thanks Taylor the party I love to stall you up if you want <laughs> okay nothing no one else nope okay we have to tell Chloe what we found uh oh nice breakfast David you, you back already I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night what happened some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Um. What? I want to side with Chloe. That's the first thing that comes up in my mind, but I don't really see David as a bad person person I think he wants to help and that's why he wants cameras if he wanted to actually you know to do illegal things or whatever he wouldn't want anyone watching anything so I'll just go for David uh, I'll, you know what first I'll go with Chloe and I'll just go and rewind later. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Oh, no. Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. Oh. I do Am I breaking not them up? have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh. You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David. You better go to a hotel until we oh, figure no. this out. You I didn't can't want that. Kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once. Just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. That's so sad. I don't want that. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Yeah, I don't want that. So sorry. 
I mean, let's go back. Back, 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 back. Okay. Um, let's talk again. Just go quickly. Let's go with David. Listen. We don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. Oh, yeah. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. No, I think it was fine. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Max, I appreciate you sticking up for David. And our family. Even if Chloe doesn't. Okay. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Aww. Why don't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Uh... No, I'm gonna stick to what I chose. Okay, let's go. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Oh. Frank has Rachel's bracelet. Okay. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. So we're gonna check the... Let's check the door. The trailer? Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... <laughs> Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. More nasty shit. <laughs> okay. We need to get the keys. He's inside. Dad. Maxime, pop here. I'm sorry, I haven't got it. We're no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded to <laughs> with you. Okay. Oh, um, you can relax. To go back? Okay. Cool. Hello. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Uh. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Okay. Let's go in. Good okay. lord. Bacon. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. That's Nathan. I'm gonna talk to him. Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. Can I talk to him? Okay. 
top. Spill? What? What's the... I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, keep going, keep going. Let's do the plate. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we cannot do anything with that. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <laughs> Okay. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Okay. Let's do that. Let's go with Nathan first, since I want to talk to him first. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic, watching you turn on your everyday hero, Jefferson, yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Uh, Kate Marsh, her father. Dress for sale, Frank. Rachel and... Frank. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Okay. Cop. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Super Sorry, Maxine? Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Mm. Rachel, Frank... Can I...? Okay. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell, with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Cross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Okay. So, maybe now we can talk to him again? <coughs> what the fuck now? Save dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go Aww, grab him from yes. the RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, yes. 
You don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <sighs> Seriously? Can I just take the keys? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. <laughs> you did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Oh, no. Give me my keys now. Yeah. Key brought. Oh. Now back to Chloe. Yes. Let's go. Open. Are you kidding me? Oh. What's your name? Alyssa? I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Oh, we need to. Wait. Okay. Warren! You... No! Come on. Warren. Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. <laughs> okay, let's go fast. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in. Spider Max. Out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw. There towards the road. In the parking lot. Parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy okay. is busy now, but he might come Stop. back. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Let's see. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see <laughs> us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues <laughs> about Rachel. Yes, let's see. I know. Just daydreaming. Okay, anything... You scope the area while I hack his computer. Frank must have a reason to keep a police raider on your by. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. Pompidou? Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. Aw. Pompidou. Doggy Pompidou. Dishes. Knife. Open. No prize here. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download. Of course, Frank gets the munchies. Mm. Let's see. What's this? Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? Uh, photo. That's almost cute Aww. to see Frank posing with his dog. <laughs> Let's see. What's this? I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Okay. Uh, here? No more secrets. So, how can we open that thing? The book. Oh! That's a pretty extreme lighter. What's Let's see, um, was the knife? Yes, knife. this is almost as good as a set of keys. Now let's go to was it here? Crap, 
purses. Nothing here. Nothing. And can Whoa, I put it back? No. <sighs> Stop. Cannot leave any evidence. Another one. My blade will open any portal. Yes. Let's go. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frank AB, I hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. That's been a monstrous bitch. And I what? Feel like I'm never going to get out of our kitty bay. Thank you. Oh, just see drive there forever. She loved Frank. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks Rachel really did hang out with Frank. That's so weird. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. You actually scared me and I thought you'll never chill out. Never seen you act that way. Bill. I'm a Leon, we don't look back. I care about you. Uh, so maybe we need to break our routine. Oh. Uh oh. Can we. We kind of put it back. I'm gonna just. Wind. Can't leave evidence. Let's go. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit. You totally defended step stalker. Fuck everybody. Oh no. Chloe! Uh oh. What? And now, how he, how is he going to get into his? RV. <laughs> Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. <sighs> Grow up. Nobody's fault. Rachel and Frank. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price. You better take that back. Right now. Okay. Fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? What? William, but well, David's not, so... You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. 
But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. <sighs> you're still here. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Now what? Just... This is not fair. She's blaming her dad. Well, she's mad. Oh my god. What is happening now? It's like... Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... They're yeah, also... I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the They're thumbs so up or thumbs down. Tiny. Well, so I might just allow this one into the family album. <gasps> what Chloe sounds is so this? Weird. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in crazy. time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crackers. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many Emma? eggs? Don't you dare. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Question the chef. Right. Like you're the real cook here? Oh, what do I do here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. That's a cool snow dough. Fireplace. Ooh. Draw. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse. Oh, to there get it is. Up. Be there shortly. Love you. And then he's going to be in that accident. I have accident. to stop William from taking his car Excuse today. Me, ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. What? She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are the keys? Can I take the keys? So I can stop him? Aha! You can't hide from me? Okay. 
Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm good. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous score with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work with two whales. Okay, I need to hide the keys. What? Oh, I didn't know hide you had to get keys. groceries. Of course, hide I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Um. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. Can I have to go I, rescue the queen the... at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious uh -oh. grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> I just put You'll them anywhere. You'll be grateful for that someday. Here. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Oh. I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? What? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. No! Come on. Okay. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? Okay. That's a dollar for the square jar. Hi. You mean your He's gonna fund? throw away? Keys, please. Throw keys. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. Yes. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah. The bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and joys and groceries and... And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off <laughs> to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. And... What's that? He's alive! No David. What's that? <laughs> Seriously? That's a really creepy face. <laughs> What happened? Is that it? We're done with the chapter? Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me Maxine. that Max. Fold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was so I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. What's, what? What's she wearing? He hooked up with Stella? What? Not, not with a cougar? Not with Burke? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. 
What else have I changed? Chloe. Bus driver. Why is he not the security? The black one. And now what? Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Like life support? What's it called? Oh. I don't even know what to say. Stole the money. Kiss Chloe, side with David, kept Frank's thought from harm, so you could hurt the dog, Frank has David's gun, Chloe, oh there was a gun, next, it's like, I feel bad now, <laughs> My head feels funny. Liz is alive. Lisa, who's oh the plant didn't help Warren with with the exam. You are on the water club. Oh yes, you didn't change the water club party list. Where was that? You raised the cops. Answer phone message. Help the Lisa. Didn't warn the homeless woman. Didn't warn? Where was she? You took a photo in the past. You left a mark on the fireplace. Yes, I did, and I saved, um, 
flow is that? And now flow is all. Dark room. Okay. So that's it for this episode of Life is Strange. And we'll figure out what's going to happen. Oh, I don't know. We'll just see what happens with Chloe next episode. Bye.